So system copy, system copy. So the topic is the system copy, which means it's a homogeneous system copy. And we have the two types of the system copy. We have the two type of approaches here. One is the homogeneous, homo, so homogeneous here, homo, so genius, homogeneous, the spelling wrong, right? So homogeneous, that is we will call the system copy. And the second one is the then heterogeneous, homogeneous and heterogeneous here. So heterogeneous kind of a normal our system copy source and target should be the same. Then taking the backup of the source and building the new system that is called the source, right? Take the backup of the your existing SAP system, then build the new system by using this backup. Means whatever the data is there, same data will come to the target system as well. That is called the system system copy export and import methods we have to use it here so migration means so source is the windows maybe if the windows is changing to the linux that is the so os migration db is the sql server this is going to the ana db that is the db migration os and db migrations so source and target is not equal which means with respect to the database, with respect to the SAP application, with respect to the DB application, both are not same. If anything is changed, that is called the migration. That we will call it as the heterogeneous. Heterogeneous here, heterogeneous migration. Homogeneous migration means homogeneous, means source and target versions are should be same. Just you are using the source backup to build a target system here. So if with the target is changing, Linux to the Windows, Windows to Linux, that is called the OS migration. If the DB is changing, that is called the DB migration here. So as part of this one, we have the some activities in the source system side. We have the some activities we have to perform on the source system side. We need to run the SWPM. We have to use the tool like SWPM. We need to do the exports. We need to do the exports here. We have to perform the exports here. SWPM export and SWPM import, we have to do it here. Right. So for here to doing the export here, what you required here for the for doing the SWPM export, we need to we need to have the free space at uh, we, we, we need the tools like SWPM tool is required. Then space you should require the space to perform the SWPM export. So these things are required here. Right. So normally what we are doing. System copy, which means we have the two types of system copy, homogeneous and heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means it's fully migration side and homogeneous means the source and target should be the same. So only you are copying from one place to another place. One place to another place you are doing here. That is called the SWPM exports and import methods you are using here. So to perform this one, we need to launch the SWPM tool. Then, so do the space, space at OS level. And so which product, so space at voice level we need to require and we need to create a export folder. Creation of, creation of, creation of the export folder at OS level we have to create it here to generate the thing here. So go to the here, so go to the, so here SAP softwares, then so SWPM tool, then click on the SAP INST, then so once the SWPM is, SWPM is opened, then we can do the uh, once the SWPM opened, we can do the export option. We can use it here in the system copy. Building a new system, that is a new system. No data will not data will not come. But if you do the system copy, same as like source, now same as like our NJP, new, same as like NJP, new system will come into the picture here. So, new system will come into the picture here. That's what we have to do it here. So here, what we have to do for the system copy method. So instead of installation, so here we need to choose the, Okay, so here, which system you are doing the export? SWPM, S4ANA, then uh, ECC, 
our net viewer so sc srm ssdm any system the procedure is to same procedure here here you need to suppose like it's a net viewer system just select central 7.5 sql server then system copy method and source system right system copy method if our installation we use the installation now system copy based upon the java so then based upon the so just do the database exports database instance export you are doing so same procedure so just to database so source system source system we are doing and target side we need to move the size wpm and this this target exported dump we have to move it and target system activities we have to perform it here so now source system side export we are doing here then later we can do the import option here like we can do the import option here right so exports database exports we are doing here one side to another side, eh? yeah. No. Yeah, so using the NJP, we are building a new system, means whatever the data we have in the NJP, same data will come in the target system also, but SID will be changed. Now are we doing a homogeneous, huh? This type homogeneous of... only. The heterogeneous is the different batch actually. That is a migrations and conversions batch. So here we need to use the profile directory. Which profile directory you want to, which SID you want to export it here. That profile directory we need to choose it. Then click on the next button. Source file path, no? Yeah, source, uh, source this one. So password, it's password it is asking, then provide the password, then export path it will ask us, so in which location we need to dump, export it, same as like client export import method, in which location we have to do the dump, then Java export. But uh, here, you know, we no need to stop the source system. We can take the so export also. When the system is running, we can take the export. So, but if you we can, if you want to take the complete end to end export, we can also stop the source system. So we can take it out. So, but stopping is not mandatory. We can ignore it. the stopping is not much required here. So, so source is the existing database SID is the NGP. So export location, see here export location here, here we need to choose the export location, any above system also, Java system also, any system we have to follow the same procedure here, right, so NJP export, Java export location, then here you can see manually stop the SAP system, you don't require to stop it here, right, we don't need to stop the okay. SAP system, we can, okay. we can, can you export anywhere sir? Or only under the SID only? We can, any, any SID, we can export it, but we can export to the anywhere. Where okay. you have the enough space, just create the one folder name, it's called the, so just export folder name, you can create it, we can export it. Okay, sir. thank you. So, pass space key, pass space key. So, keys normally which we enter in during the installation time, right? So, those for keys it is asking.
So package split that is common. So that is for the common thing. You don't need to do anything here. So number of parallel jobs export. You want to parallelly export and import process. And once you export is done, so that is done. So then parallelly export import also we can cho choose it. But that does not require. We can go for the. So review parameter section, simple, okay? Review parameter section. So see, review. So same, just only SWPM, export location, SID, that's it. Just click on the next button. Then it will do the export of the, your dump. Then by using these files, we can do the imports. So that's what will happen in the systems here. So exports, how much DB size is there? It will do the exports for that one. Then it will do the imports. Calculating the DB size. And it will export it. It will export to the, for the folder which you created. Right? Java export. Java export it creates here. It's created the folders. Right? It's creating the folder structure. Everything it created here. So it is doing. Getting a table sizes, yeah, it's almost eighty percent completed. It will be very, it will be very quick actually. Java exports. <coughs> Exporting the schema. Main class starts. So pending twenty, running one. So total twenty jobs. So in that completed zero 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 running. So it will take time. It will take some time, half an hour, one hour, then it will export all those things. It will say like export is done. Once the export is done, we can do the imports. So that's what will happen.